Hello everyone and welcome back to another NCS review. We are on the review episode 157. Wow, big number. Today we have three songs again and they are pretty cool. I'm really excited for this week. First we have For Rear, Reverse Prodigy and Zam Eris, something like that. It's like a god I saw on the wiki. But Tear Up My Horizon is also after airs. A Black Circle. Fucking cool. Let's listen to this song and I heard a preview. It was phenomenal. Here we go. The Black Circle. A, a black logo. Wow. Like to the sound of Holy damn. Like that's... Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, god. <laughs> Background is beautiful. This sounds really beautiful. Whoa! Damn, dude! That's crazy! Wow! Man! Ooh. Oh yeah! Oh, this is some trap! It's hard, but it has a really good twist to it. Also really experimental. Great! Wow! And the silences are so well done. Oh, the vocals are, I think, even better for me. Here with the beat, they're nice. Background gives me some Coldplay vibes, I don't know why. Ooh. Wow, two layers too. Build ups are phenomenal. Oh, that's fucking grand. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the build up. Oh. Yeah. It's so harsh, but it works. This is what NCS was made for, guys. Man, 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 this was a song that I really enjoyed. Let's give it a like and put it in my playlist. The whole atmosphere of the song is really well made. And just how the vocals were introduced is so nice. His voice is really deep and I really love that as well. And just how the energy is in his voice is so awesome. And when the build-ups are almost there... He goes to a higher key, higher note, whatever. That's so awesome. That's so cool. And in the second build up, you heard another vocal. That's really cool. So another layer. I like some layers. I like some added. So it's not so, so really repetitive. It's really refreshing. This whole song as a trap style. It almost feels like future trap or hybrid trap. I don't care. This is a really good song and a really good song for the label. What a month so far, guys. Eight songs on the screen right here with a mashup. But damn, this is fucking great. The next song will be Extra Terra and Entry B with vocals. I am so excited. It will be a science circle, some mid tempo. It's two days from now. That's sad, but let's just get right into it for you. 
Here we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh. Vocals are nearly were there. Pretty cool guitar, too. <laughs> I am so excited for the pro. Wow, sound design is really interesting. Really gritty deep. Vocals are very dreamy, but also dark. Oh, this incoming melody is nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, those gritty sounds are really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it's almost like Tron, but darker. Oh, yeah. It really got my attention. Oh, wait, not attention. Expectations, right. I like the rock twist of it. It's not too rocky. Vocals again are so cool. This week has really cool vocals so far. I'm so excited for the fucking second drop. When Throne came out, I really wanted another song like this, and here it is. Oh, here we go! Oh, yeah! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> that was epic! Yeah! I really got some epic chills there through my whole body when it on top game. Yeah! I want a mashup of this one and Throne. This drop is actually maybe better. It has a beat difference. No, it's over! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. When there is a song that you are so excited for and when it's over for the first time, that is a, that is a really sad feeling. OMG. Wow. I love this one so much. What a great, great song this was. Maybe the best of the week? I don't know. Forget the fact that Light Rain is right up there. I had to still record this part of the video, okay? Just ignore it, okay? I also placed a comment. I also placed a comment. The fans, how well can you combine EDM and Rock? Extra Terra and M3B. Yes. NCS hard at my comment. But uh, <laughs> there was a little bit of a fight going on. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you saw my post about it, it's pretty clear. But I just bursted out in laughter when I saw NCS heart my comment. That just made my day. But Silence, a great song to enjoy. And I love the dark atmosphere it had, just like Throne. But this one feels even darker. The vocals were not that upbeat like in Throne. They were a little bit darker and yeah, really cool. They were really cool. It's a genre that I really adore on the label and it's there since 2019, so five years now since Max Braun. And I'm glad it's back. Last year we had just one drop in the ocean and now we had three AI, Throne and Silence. Three great songs. There's just nothing wrong with this song and that's about it, what I can say. Let's get on to Like Rain. 
There we go. Ooh, Vogels again. Hmm. Nice Vogels. Dreamy melody so far. Oh, whoa, that was a big drop for just liquid on the base. Still hear some, uh, whoa, I still hear some parts of funk. The vocals and the bells. Oh wow, but it is really good for just liquid drum and bass. I like the energy with it, and it's also a longer song, three and a half minutes. It's pretty epic, those vocals, combined with the normal vocals. Oh, it's a really nice beat to just bop your head on. This also gives me some Remesis B story vibes. I don't know why, but it comes close to it. It's luckily not so boring what I was scared of. Which is the opposite of that, it's not boring at all. Just a nice German bass song for the mount. Ramses B is on a streak, a great streak. Oh, the car! That was nice! That drop was interesting. Really deep. This drop was sort of better. Ah, this is the part I love. I think because of the vocals also. Epic man. He's combining some darker elements with some upbeat elements, and I like that. But what I said, Rabbit is being on a good streak this year. We have never heard so much Rabbit is being in one year ever. <laughs> that car. The car sounds are pretty neat, I'd have to say, they're pretty neat. For a liquid drum and bass, I actually really enjoyed it. I was sort of scared that it was going to be, I don't know, just less than this. But it, it isn't. And Look No Further is for me in the melody worse. And I like Ramses B take on it. It's more energetic and a little bit more EDM-like. Look No Further has some pop vibes and Like Rain didn't have that. And that's for me a pretty good point as well. The atmosphere was really nice. I like those darker funk songs there too. With the vocals from that girl. With the bell sound from funk back in the melody. It was really nice. And I really like that Remesis B is combining funk with drum and bass. And it feels still more like drum and bass than funk. But still, it's a really cool combination. I didn't really know that would work. But Remesis B makes it work. And that's what I love about him. I hope to see even more from him in the future because Ramses B, what I said again, he is on a great streak. A great, great streak. But that was it for Like Rain. And this was it for this week. I'm not gonna lie, this was a pretty great week. With a trap banger. With mid-tempo or a new beat, how you wanna call it, I don't care. Is back. And Like Rain as well. I loved this. Pretty good week. Let's talk about the future a little bit because there are some really cool comebacks upcoming. 
Sad Boys is coming back. We first thought with Chenda, but that's not true, sadly. But he still will collaborate with Chenda off label. We also are gonna get Roynox, Your Poison, maybe. That's still debatable if Ancient is gonna accept it. But he will release with his Funk alias, Thirst. But that's not it either, because his Funk alias is not on his own. It's not Roynox that's just Thirst. No, it's Roynox and Hayef from Red Light. He is coming back. That's pretty neat as well. I thought he didn't really like NCS, but I guess he wanted to release with Roy now. And that's even not it. Tobu and Diviners will collaborate. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm so excited for October. I really am. What a nice week. Let's play the best song and you will see my ratings for these three. And now I will say, ba bye bye.